Today we've got a repair in from an individual rather than uh, normally we only deal with the trade but uh, this gentleman asked nicely and um, gentleman by the name of Paul and it's a Team Euro 3004 UK. Now then we've got one of these which I've never looked at and so what I've done is to buy in the information that we can we've got a circuit diagram and we've got a layout so I'm just going to see which circuit fits this particular radius. We'll just pop the lid off and see which variant it is. Well folks this looks like a right laughter service not. It's uh, based on MC145156 general purpose Motorola synthesizer. And then it's got an E E an EEPROM on this subboard no doubt to make it do the 2781 channels. Well, it's factory like this. Nobody's messed with it. This is how they came out. Unfortunately, the service manual only shows it as the EU version without this um, extra bit. And then, no doubt, this board at the side is something else to do with the way the thing's set up. So I'm going to wade through the circuit diagrams and we'll think of a way of setting up the VCO. I didn't expect to get the easy sets, but um, anyway, I'll have a look at that, and I think first of all we'll make sure the power supply is doing the kind of voltage we do expect. Now the customer's not mentioned what the snags are with this, if any, and it's absolutely immaculate, so um, I don't know whether it's a repair or whether it's just a, ge a general service retune and test. So. Without further ado, I'll bury my head in the circuit diagram. Right, what I've had to do is to take the bottom lid off this radio as well. And I've got my frequency counter on pin 4 of the MC145106. And that's the 10.24 crystal input. And I can show you this diagram. I can... Uh, show you that we've got the MC33 sorry we've got the MC145156 there pin 1 is there so pin 4 is there and that's the test point for the 10.24 crystal and because this uses a multiple crystal mixer we have to set the 10.24 crystal we don't use this to set the transmit frequency so what I'm now I, I can't kind of swizzle the cameras around and thing so I'm just going to poke my head in here and turn the um, trimmer I'm going to try to anyway it's showing 10.239 so slightly low which is what you'd come to expect after a number of years so 10 point let's see if we can get that up yes and there we have it 10.24 um, Zero, zero, 001 so that's brought that up so showing it you now on the radio itself now I've done that the 10.24 crystal is there the trimmer capacitor is there I've put the test prod on pin 4 of the IC which is just down there the MC145156. I did it from the other side because I couldn't get to it easily with this subboard. And I've brought that onto frequency. That's 10.24. Because the danger is if you inadvertently use that to set the frequency on transmit, you'll end up with the receive being off frequency and the transmit being off frequency, probably in a different direction. Um, this circuit appears in the uh, TR. X404 I think it was called, uh, the, the other team radio, the mobile. So uh, I'll just see if there's anything I can show you to do with VCO. But well, interestingly enough this radio has a lock position on the fascia there. And if we change channel it goes out of lock momentarily. So the fact that it's in lock on channel 1 and channel 40 of course proves to us that the VCO is locked and I've never seen a lock light on any CB radio before 
so it's really handy to know the VCO is actually set. So what I'm just going to do, I'm just going to set the... I'm just going to go to transmit. This part of the video is only going to be for setting this uh, initial stage and the overview of the radio. And I'm going to go into transmit now and see what we've got. We've got 27... I wanted this on channel 20. You'll know, remember there's two versions of these sets. This one's the one with the meter, and then this one which has the fairy lights. Then you also see this being both versions with the Jason brand on it. So, 27.79125 it should be. Well, it's low at 79086. Now, one of these two trimmers on the side here, 212 and 209, One's going to be receive and one's going to be transmit. And I don't know which one it is, so if we twiddle that one, we'll see. Yes, it's that one. 27791. I don't mind twiddling wrong things because I can put it back with the level of equipment we've got here. So there we are, 2779126. So the transmit is C212 for transmit frequency. So conversely, when we set up the receive on the next video, uh, that will be done with that trimmer there. Okay, so we'll proceed with the transmitter. I was going to just do VCO, but clearly the VCO is uh, going to be there, and possibly that one. And the fact it's linked in with that lock detector, which I showed you on the uh, radio front panel, we know it's in lock, and we don't have any exact procedures. So we may as well assume that's okay because they're sealed and it works. So having gone through the 10.24, having gone through the transmit, we're now spot on frequency and I'll just recheck that. 27, oh, we're on the wrong channel. I'm on channel 20, 27.79126, it should be 125, that's fine. So moving on to the first of the transmit, adjustments we're doing I'll just tell you what the power is um, when I'm in the right mode it's doing three and a half watts and um, the first transmit adjustment is that one that is indeed Pete the second transmit one that and that's Pete and then we've got two more down those holes I don't know what kind of tool we need I'll just pause the video while I have a look so adjusting the first one of those I can't tell you which inductor number it is actually brought us up to uh, 3.7 watts and because I've got a bit of wax in there I'll just melt that with the soldering iron there we go and the one at the back there has brought us neatly up to just over 4 watts just make sure they're balanced Unfortunately, the holes aren't quite in the right position, which is uh, not good for quality control. There we are, we're spot on 4 watts, excellent. I look at the front meter there, it's uh, just reading just over the 4 watts, we'll just balance that up, uh, it's the second control here, we've got two presets down here, we've got the first one is the receiver meter, the second one is a transmit meter, so I'll just keep up and make sure that's 4, which it is now, there we go. 
Now on transmit, we'll just check the deviation. Set the small oscillator we have here. That's actually reading 2.2, .2, which is about where it should be. We'll just give it the quick whistle test. <whistles> actually reading a bit low on the whistle test. So we'll bring it up with the... Uh, I've just gone and dropped the, the tool on the floor. And that's not... You haven't seen what's on the floor. And the deviation is the third one back. Just check that again with the whistle test. Wallow, there's that's fine. And I'll have a quick listen on the monitor receiver. Testing one, two, one, two, one, two. Let's have a Roger bleep. Yep, that's fine. And that concludes the Team Euro 3004 UK base station on transmit.